what happens over the years is, and decades, what starts to happen is we start to refine things more and more and more. Because in the end, that's all we've got left to do. It. So, so the, the details become more and more important. And so people start picking apart, well, you didn't, your left big toe was a millimeter too far to the left or something like that. And so some details are not important and some are important, uh, if that makes sense. Um, and the, the way we find all the important details is in our fundamental cutters, like sanction, particularly sanction and tension. So everything should be working from those principles. And then of course, you know, because there is that refinement, there is going to be a certain timing to the kata. And the biggest thing, I think, is, unless you're doing it as an exercise, is not to rush through your kata. You just take the time with it. So, the, so with that in mind, the, the moments of stillness become as important as the moments of action because it gives you time to prepare, reflect, finish the previous movement, and prepare for the next movement. And then you also start to see that in some, some pauses seem to be longer than others. Some are very short, some are longer. And so then we start to see the delineation between a sequence that combatively may go together and one that is just changing to something completely different. Even though obviously we can link all the movements together. The one thing I would say is that uh, um, at the end of the kata, like at the beginning, like at the beginning we are in yoi, we take a bit of time because because it is an exercise, you know, we're not suddenly in a self-defense situation. It's an exercise just to get the posture and mindset. So I get the posture and mindset, and it might take me a minute to do it. Well, not a minute, but it might take me a few seconds to do it, that's fine. You know, I'm doing a kata, if, if it's a situation where I bow, I would bow. I get my mind ready, and now I get my posture ready, and then, <laughs> and then I go. Because of that, at the end, it's going to be the same thing. So when, I, when I'm finishing up the kata, so I come back, uh, oh. <coughs> I hit, and it's like, okay, now I'm just, essentially, although some people make up techniques of these positions, it's just a ritual to finish. So I just do the same thing, I just prepare my mind and body in the same way, and I sort of self-check, make sure my posture is good, and then if there's a bow is required, I bow, and then I'm done. So we don't want to conflate the beginning and end with the actual techniques of the couple. Yeah, sometimes I don't do any beginning or end. I just, I just like, oh, oh, what are we doing? Okay, fuck, get some action, just go. That's, that's okay too sometimes. I recommend doing that. But for a formal situation, just take your time because they're, they're just a ritual beginning. Uh, okay, so can we also do Getsai Daini, please? <laughs>